Hey guys, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez. I was just going over something with my friend Paul. I was like, oh, do you want to do like a podcast? Like, and he's like a very old school guy. And he's just like, no, no, I don't want to do anything with you with your Pokemon. And, and you know, he's like an old guy. And he's like, your Pokemans and your, you know, your OnlyFans over there. I was like, oh, don't tell people I have an OnlyFans because I do not. Uh, although someone, no, I don't. Um, and the reason he brought that up is because I happen to tell a story and I'll tell you guys about my experience with OnlyFans and it's something that I don't think it what well, I totally approve of sex work as long as it's consensual and everyone's safe totally for it I think it should be legalized I legalized it in Europe and it's flourishing there and it's where it's legalized it's safer because there's regulations and you know that kind of takes away power that takes power away from pimps that treat their girls badly in the wrong way so I think that's something that we should look into here. We've had wildly, wildly successfully, we've had much success with uh, legalizing weed wherever that's been done. I guess the U.S. government hasn't figured out how to tax it yet. Once they do, multi, multi-billion dollar industry. Um, I mean, in Vegas, I guess it's legal. But anyway, outside of that, um, no, I'm looking at that anymore. My experience with it was uh, my friend Kara. She's just crazy and does everything um i served with her and she just happens to be a very good looking girl and she's like i'm gonna do it she actually tried to sell her bath water too like after Bel Del- Bel delphine did that like a year ago or something and i was like oh my god uh so she makes one and she has a couple of followers pretty instantly and then what she did was she took requests because you know she i guess you get tired of doing the same old thing every day although she seemed to enjoy it but the she had a couple of different ones that some were like solo stuff one was one was sex in public so she's like okay so she haven't had sex in front of like a like a home depot or something and i was like oh my god like it was like it wasn't just like in a car in front it was like out in the open it was like oh my goodness so that is uh so she did that and then she had a another one where or another request it was like from the same guy who's like like, if we were getting a car, I want you to be, like, fucked up against the window with, like, see you later, Dan, with, like, your tits pushed up against the glass. And it's like, these are getting weirder and weirder. So, and in between that, she happened to get one from, an- like, another random person saying, like, I want to be, like, fucked by a pizza man. And I was a pizza man. She's like, I don't trust anyone else. Like, the other guy, so I was like, okay, all right, let's do it. Um, so we did it. And... You didn't see my face. You saw my tattoos in there. So if anyone's seen that, sorry. <laughs> but after a while, the guy that requested those two other videos from her messaged her. And I guess from Google Earth, because he knew like he knew what state she lived in. And I guess the town or the street or like geographing it and found out what town she was in. And then based on the other video where it hits her up against the glass looked up like the roof or the address of the house across the street from where she was and found out where it was she was and she's like oh no so she just absolutely deleted everything and um not that she was like scared of anything because she's a veteran like myself and she is much more trigger happy than i like i like her main question when going like as a uh, i don't give away too much of her stuff is just like should we shoot like She loves to shoot. So it's not that she was scared. She was just weirded out. She's like, I do not want to stalk her. I do not need a stalker. Again, not that she was scared. She's just, that's weird. Like, I I had a stalker once too, and it was, well, it turned out to be pretty good. I'll tell that another time. But, um, so if you're going to do it, if you're going to experiment and try for an OnlyFans, and again, OnlyFans doesn't have to be sexual. My friend Julie reads, like, parts of the Constitution on there. Like, you can do that and just, like, talk about Pokemon cards. You do that and, um, you know, cut construction paper with scissors, like anything you could think of that there is. But if you're going to do it, guy or girl, just try to limit your location of where you are. And because that, that's just weird. And that can get very dangerous. So that's just my opinion on that. And that is the controversial subject of the day i'm gonna have to mark this as nsfw so (laughs) i'll catch you guys later all right please comment like and subscribe comments are good for the youtube algorithm i love you bye